Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Talent Thursday. I'm Jody Schwann, the publisher of Sioux Falls Business. Happy to be back again with you in partnership with the Sioux Falls Development Foundation, where today Denise Gazetta has organized a fantastic conversation for us with Sarah Sim Simmonsma. She is uh, representing Avera Health, uh, HR and Career Development. And Denise, you work closely with Avera too, before we, we bring in Sarah here, but um, talk about a leader in our business community when it comes to all things workforce. All things workforce, just an incredible leader, uh, incredible, you know, uh, life balance, incredible um, engagement as far as their employee and what they do. So just an incredible employer, wonderful experience as a partner as well. So. And Sarah, as a career development consultant, sits right in the middle of all of this. Um, so thanks for being with us, Sarah. Maybe start by telling us a little bit about what your job entails. Yeah, absolutely. So I've been in this role for about two years now, and it's kind of a unique role. Um, I'm the only one for all of Avera Health, so across all of our regions, across all of our footprint. But what I do, I'm kind of a liaison. I'm a helpful hand, a soundboard for people as they're trying to find jobs at Avera, or maybe people that already work at Avera that want to maybe go on for, or maybe switch careers altogether, um, and really linking them to resources, different things that can help them along the way, whether it be tuition reimbursement or, you know, contacts at different colleges and universities that can help them or scholarships, things like that, just to make that load a little bit lighter and help to kind of encourage them through that. Um, so it really varies. So the day-to-day -day really varies. Most of my time is spent in career planning sessions where I'm meeting with people one-on-one -on -one and talking through that because every individual is so different that we can kind of tailor it then to what they need. The other part of it is the workforce planning side. So the critical workforce teams and things like that throughout our regions of how do we, what are some of those pipeline building activities? How do we get, you know, students interested in healthcare careers? And how do we also show that it's not just nurses and doctors too? How do we let them see that there are so many other things in healthcare as well? A lot of times I'm at career fairs and people will go, well, I'm not thinking healthcare. And I think, I say, well, what are you thinking? And they're like, well, I'm thinking of maybe finance or accounting. And I'm like, well, that's healthcare. We need that too. So uh, it's very rare that you find something, even if, it, you know, marketing, we talk about marketing or, you know, all of those different pieces, HR. I mean, those are all pieces that kind of that tie into healthcare. So um, that's kind of the eye-opening experience you have with people when you're out in the community of that. It's not just one thing. Well, to be honest, you know, not just Avera, but any large healthcare organization or any large employer for that matter, it can be a little overwhelming when you first pull up that careers page. Yes. And where do I go and what do these jobs mean and how do I know if it's exactly. a fit for me? So do you help people cut through some of that confusion? Exactly. That's a big part of what I do. It's empowering them to go, okay, when you get in here, let's, let's get it down from 1500 jobs to the, really the 50 that maybe will fit into your wheelhouse or are the ones that you should be looking at. Um, talking through even the application process. I even help with resume and interview tips, you know, and things like that, that it's just those people, we see a lot of people that came back into the workforce, you know, or maybe that they have retired, maybe they've been in the same role for a long time, but want to make a kind of a flip and they just need some of that extra support. Um, and so it's just a great way to get it. And it's my pleasure to help kind of along that way. So I don't do the recruiting side of it. So I'm able to share more pieces and be a more of a helpful hand in that process, which is really nice. And like you said, Jody, the website is overwhelming. It's not like there's three titles, there's hundreds of titles and I still learn something new every day. Like, oh, I've never heard of that before. Let's explore that one <laughs> because it is, there's always something new. And with COVID that brought even more new positions that we had never heard of before and, or needed before. So it is, it's a lot to cut through and can be really overwhelming, which is where I come in. Well, and Denise, how smart of Avera, frankly, to even have someone like Sarah in this role, don't you think? I mean, this sort of navigator role. Absolutely. I'm thinking of some, I just talked to somebody this week and I was mentioning, you know, recent uh, graduate, um, mm -hmm. moved here from California, um, started in a place and figured out pretty quickly that that's not where he wanted to be. And so I was advising him, you know, you have great skills. You've got a lot of experience that right. you had through school. You need to contact. And I said, Sarah and Avera. Sarah and Avera, and, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and part of that was, is because Sarah and I work so closely together because we know it really is that human touch, mm -hmm. that engagement that makes a difference. And that's where it's so powerful. And anytime I see the recruiters or anybody from Avera, it's always that you know, engagement piece that really kind of just, yeah. I remember, 
over yeah. and over. And that's the connection that's in the cool. relationships for sure. And that's what Absolutely. I love so much about my job. I feel like there are applicants, Sarah, out there who know Avera. Maybe they they feel like they know what Avera stands for. Maybe they could see themselves there, but they don't know how or where or what that looks like. Um, so if they get connected to you, what might those initial conversations be like? How do you help them go from, well, I might like to work at Avera to here's a job that's actually available and maybe a fit for right. you? Yeah, so part, part of the first part is kind of like what experiences have they had so far? What pieces of work do they like versus maybe what are those pieces that maybe drain them or that they really don't like? That really helps tailor kind of those pieces of where do we want to look at? Are they going to be really patient facing and they want to have that communication or do they want to be more behind the scenes and supporting those that do? Um, so that really steers us into which bucket of jobs kind of we want to look at and then also which titles. And then also I can learn about their educational background. So if they've maybe got a certificate or an associate's or a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or come with other experiences, that helps to kind of tailor us into those paths. Um, or maybe they have a lifelong dream of always pursuing something. Mm -hmm. And how can we get them to be that nurse or how can we get them to be that respiratory therapist or whatever it might be? Um, you know, so talking, it's just, that's why it's so individualized is because everybody's is so different of kind of what that looks like. Um, or maybe they have some pretty high goals and then what department do they maybe want to start in to work their way up into that or what would be the best fit for that kind of that continued growth too. I, I love that. I just have to say, you know, one of our first people that we had on Talent Thursday was McKinsey, right, Jody? Yes. Right. And she started and she pretty much, I mean, she had a dream of getting in to that very highly competitive uh, mm -hmm. physician assistant program. And from day one, this kid could have gone anywhere to any college, um, had a plan, went through a technical school, at the same time went through college at USD right. and worked full time at Avera and a yeah. lot of different jobs. And what was amazing to me, and after I hear again, just, you know, Sarah sharing this again with our viewers, mm -hmm. it's the engagement piece over and over. Right. We're going to help you get to where you want to be. Yeah, That's exactly. incredible. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's not just those employment pieces. It might be an internship. It might be volunteering, you know, especially like for somebody who's going to med school or PA programs, it's kind of kind of the all encompassing resume, right? That we have and we show that dynamic too. So it's kind of those other pieces that some people, times people don't think about um, or people that already work for us, maybe some of those leadership opportunities that they can do and be a part of or those seminars and things too. So yeah, but Mackenzie's a light. She's an amazing mm -hmm. role model for many, many people. So you've got such good stories, though, throughout that organization of people coming in with one role and growing their careers, you know, yeah. internally, because with an organization of that size and growing, those opportunities are there. And right. um, that, that is just key. We had a fun story today. If you've not seen it, I want to give a plug for that one over at Sioux Falls Dot Business. Avera adding 12 pickleball courts over <laughs> to uh, the Avera on Louise property over at 69th and Louise. But um, these are going to be free. So if you've thought about pickleball, if you love pickleball, they're coming later this year. But, you know, just one example of an organization that keeps doing things and keeps investing in the community. And I'm guessing, um, Sarah, it's fun for you to, to tell the story of an organization like that. It absolutely is. I mean, that there's just always so much growth and always so much change, um, you know, but then there's also that that always creates a need. You know, we always are going to need those awesome individuals to come and join us and to live out that mission and carry that mission forward. So, whether it's the pickleball courts, which is brand new breaking news that I don't know, I have never played pickleball, but I guess I will need to, we'll all have to go together and try it. Um, but the new, you know, the new hospital is going up on the east side of town and the behavioral health additions. I mean, it is just a really exciting thing to be a part of and it all boils back down to that mission and everything, you know, providing that quality care to those communities and everybody that we serve. So it is pretty remarkable to be a part of it. I've been with Avera for 16 years. So oh um, yeah, I've been here a long time and it's just been fun to watch that growth and also see those changes um, that you probably didn't ever anticipate happening. So that's exciting. I'm curious too, you know, how do people connect with you? I mean, I didn't know that your role existed. I, yes, I, I know how to find job listings, but I don't know that I know how to find, you know, my know. Uh, workforce consultants. So how do they get connected with you? Yeah. So on our averajobs.org website, where you'd find the jobs, there's some categories in the bottom corner. So internships, different things can be found there, scholarships. 
but there's a link called career planning service. So if you click on that link right there and fill out the form, that comes right to my inbox. So then I reach out to set up a time for us to connect. Um, we do those mainly via phone or virtually by um, WebEx, which is like our Zoom and have that one-on-one -on -one conversation. That's great. You know, Denise, my head on this goes to those college grads, whether you're looking for that internship or that first job, this is a great time of year for that. And mm -hmm. all of you out of staters who we know are continuing to look at Sioux Falls and South Dakota and you don't know where to start, right? I mean, you start here. Yeah, I start here and, and start in an organization that has a lot of different jobs. You know, it, years ago, people used to think about banking and hospitals in the same way. Hospitals, doctors and nurses, banks, just bankers there's a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. And so we really have to just really get that out there. You know, whether you are somebody that is a computer science, data analytics, um, cause I work with some of the people over at Avera for data analytics, human resources, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. finance. Um, there's a lot of different opportunities. Yes. And as we are listening to Sarah, she's been there 16 years. So that's a pretty good indication um, right. of a great culture. So Exactly. That's right. I had a conversation with someone yesterday in IT, trying to figure out where this person had changed jobs, and they've gone from banking IT to Avera IT. So right. yes, sure. this definitely happens. Yeah, absolutely. And that need is always growing. It, right. it absolutely is. Mm -hmm. um, Sarah, are there some common questions that you've been getting from people here recently? Are there some themes that have been emerging in your world? Gosh, you know, I get asked that a lot. Everybody is just so unique and so different and all of their journeys are so different. I'm trying to think if there's anything major. I mean, definitely with COVID, we saw, you know, the shift of even people from other industries that wanted a little more stability and knew that healthcare had that um, for future. I would say more and more recently, it's been a lot of remote interest, like remote jobs. Mm -hmm. um, prior to COVID, we really didn't, that was kind of a hard no for Avera. We said, sorry, we just don't have anything remote. It's all in person. And it, that has been shifting, you know, and definitely during the pandemic, the height of the pandemic, it did have to shift out of necessity. And some of those things stayed remote and um, some of those things have come back, but it also kind of pushed us to think and realize well, certain things can be done remotely and can be done remotely successfully too. So I would say that's probably number one of um, more commonly asked questions is what do you have that's remote? And we see that from other states, like you mentioned too, people mm -hmm. that are maybe like, well, how can I join this organization, but I maybe live in Texas, you know, or things like that too. Well, and then to your point, my guess is you get to talk about Sioux Falls from time to time as well. Um, yes. And, you know, the reasons behind um, staying or relocating to Sioux Falls, mm -hmm. what are some of those things that you typically are sharing with people? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, sometimes it's really exciting when they come here and see it. It's always a, I, some of the most interesting ones is when they are from like a really warm weather area and they reach out in the middle of winter and, you know, and say, how do you want, you know, why do I want to come to Sioux Falls? But um, it's been interesting, you know, they actually really like the idea of four seasons. You know, they like that idea of having that, that mix. Obviously Sioux Falls has so much to offer. And I think once they get here and see that, um, they they just see the falls and they see the booming businesses. And I think ultimately probably my major sell that is so hard to, to know unless you're here is the people, um, you know, everybody was here and helpful. And, um, one of my favorite stories was a, a nursing couple from Texas that came here and they came in the in middle of a blizzard. Honestly, their pl their flights were delayed. They came to check it out and they got like in a front wheel drive car was their rental and they got stuck in the snow. And um, a carload of like high school teen boys pulled up behind them and they said in, in their area, that would have been kind of concerning, but those boys got out, they dug them out, they pushed them out and they couldn't even believe it. And somebody had come out from their house and was like, Hey, I see you're stuck. Do you want to come in and warm up? You know? And they're like, no, we're okay. <laughs> you know, it's just the people part of it. Um, we still, we're just so blessed to be here and to have people that really care about others and success of others and growth of others. Um, that's the, that sense of community, I think is the number one. I love that. Don't you, Denise, that, that really yeah. sums up the Sioux Falls experience. Yeah. I don't know if there's a better story to really tell, but then that's a, well, it's a true story. It, so. It's true because I, I'm thinking back to where I'm from and Jody, you, you have a similar experience. If somebody were to come up behind you back in your own town right. and you didn't know them, you would have a little But here. You don't have that because People are so, they look out for each other. The businesses really are great partners to each other. I mean, we talk about workforce and some of the challenges. The first thing is, is we engage and, and we help with best practices. And so that's why um, Sarah's story resonates with me 
on such so many levels. Right. I just did this myself, Sarah. It is that easy. Averajobs.org is what you have yeah. to do to find her. All the way down the bottom, career planning, simple. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to connect with Sarah. So do Absolutely. it. You're considering uh, not just a healthcare occupation, but just a career move um, in Sioux Falls. Mm -hmm. Denise, anything else to add here before we let Sarah go? No, I just want to thank you both. I mean, I know that we're getting you know, set for a holiday and I want everybody to stay safe and, and wonderful and enjoy themselves. But thank you for everything you guys do too. Thank you so much for having me. You bet, Sarah. It was great connecting with you. So glad we could share this resource um, with everybody watching Talent Thursday. If you know someone who could benefit from connecting with Sarah and you are watching this, please forward it to them, tag them, um, help us spread the word so we can connect more people with more career opportunities in Sioux Falls. And as always, thanks for watching. Denise is already working on the schedule for future Talent Thursday. So we will be back with you and uh, look forward to those conversations. But as she said, enjoy the holiday weekend and uh, we will talk to you next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.